How's it going, people? I'm doing okay right now. Mm. Uh. Well, I, I've been accumulating some uh, interesting reading material. I haven't looked at any of this in advance. I haven't read this one yet. But I'll drink to that later. Um, there's another one. We had a music festival downtown Sacramento, so you find all this crap everywhere. I'm probably not going to do the chick track because, uh, I mean, Moroku and uh, the Bible Reloaded, they do a much better job than I do that. This is a local publication. Thought the article might be interesting to read. I at least agree with the, the headline. Ah, but I got this yesterday in the mail. I have not heard from my good friends at the Church of Scientology in quite a while. I guess they're getting tired of not hearing back from me. I have no idea what's in this. It's unopened. So let's find out together. Ah, okay, I'm ready. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Well, we have a uh, we have a little flyer here. I'll look at that in a minute. It's Craig. He always signs his envelopes, so they come back to him. I'll probably send this one back to Craig. Maybe I'll send that chick track. With it. Anyway, I can never read Craig's handwriting too well, but let's see. It's a brief epistle. He hasn't heard from me. That's probably why. Hi, Richard. How are you? Um, I'm writing you... Wait, I've written you a few times, and I was curious how you liked self-analysis. Did you do the processes? Craig. Well, it's still um, trying to find out why I haven't talked to him yet. I think it's about time I tell him about the Self-Realization Foundation. Anyway, uh, let's check this out. Scientology, the fundamentals of thought. I bet you thought you knew how to think. But you thought wrong. You need the right technology for that. All right. A 50,000 year search to discover the fundamentals of thought. 50,000, huh? <sighs> you may have been taught that the mind, spirit, and life are very different things to know about. Um, I don't know if I was taught that. Um, this is the first principle of Scientology. It is possible to know about the mind, the spirit, and life. L. Ron Hubbard, who didn't know shit about any of that. All right. The answers you have been searching for. And you know you have. Ah. For thousands of years, I think it was like uh, 50,000, uh, man, capitalized, has searched, pondered, and speculated about the true meaning of life. But in Scientology, that search has culminated 
for the secret has now been discovered. For a fee. An exorbitant fee. Based on precision axioms, self-evident truths, self-evident truths, doesn't that sound a little like faith? Self-evidence. Look, a rainbow, a waterfall. God! Self-evident. Truth. Talk about a misused word. <sighs> These are the answers. Answers you've been looking for. Answers that work. See, I'm just trying to help out. The cycle of action revealing what underlies the continuous cycle of creation, survival, and destruction. A cycle that seems inevitable in life seems. Seems to me. But, which is only apparency. Oh, really? Life is but a dream. <sighs> the conditions of existence. That comprise all life and livingness. That's a word, livingness. And by which one can truly be capitalized. For emphasis, no doubt. B, as in the, the big B. The, the only B you really need to care about. The be in being. And they're going to teach you how to do that, and then they're going to put you in Sea Orc. <laughs> or do it some other menial labor. Swab the decks, you enlightened son of a bitch. All right. Um, the eight dynamics upon which all life is... <coughs> there we go. That was a little bit of work. Uh, compartmentalized. And by which one can resolve the puzzle of their own existence. That requires thinking about. I exist, therefore, what's to think about? As unpleasant as it is, my parents must have fucked. That's how it happened. Because fucking feels good. And sometimes individuals happen. Anyway, this is all very fascinating. Uh, a little intermission there. Now, let's see. Yeah, the puzzle of their own existence. The affinity reality and Communication triangle. I've been taught to avoid triangles, but let's see, Bermuda triangle or a love triangle? They're uh, fraught with danger. At least a love triangle is. At least in this country. Um, it might be okay in France. I don't know. I've only heard. I gotta go. Uh, Triangle, uh, revealing and explaining the underlying principles of human relations. It's got it all figured out. And L. Ron Hubbard was a genius. Or not. The parts of man. The comprehensive... Comprehensive explanation of spirit, mind, and body 
their anatomy and interrelationship in every being. The reason why answering the questions of what's it all about, Alfie? No, just kidding. Um, what's it all about? And giving the very elements of survival, happiness, and life itself, which makes survival so much more enjoyable. Because if you're not surviving, you didn't survive. That requires a lot of thought. Um, Scientology processes that unlock the life force that is you. <sighs> mm. Got new olives there. Stuffed with jalapeno and garlic. Mmm. They go good to martini. Okay. We're not done here. Ooh. Um. And with this book, you won't just learn. You get brainwashed. And have your thoughts controlled by somebody else. Well, they monitor with a little electronic lie detector. Make sure that they got complete control. All right, you will learn. You'll discover these principles for yourself. Because this is Scientology. That's what it is. The knowledge of you and you and you and anyone else that they can get their hooks in. All right, Scientology. Available on, uh, in, the hardback, fundamentals, paperback, or, no, fundamentals of thought, paperback, or audio format. 256 pages, or three CDs. You know, whichever one's the least painful. You could probably sleep through the CDs, at least. And the book will put you to sleep. Um... Get them both. Um, buy and study Scientology, the fundamentals of thought. Available from any church of Scientology or direct from the publisher, but probably no reputable bookstore, if there's any left. Um, and there's contact information, freeze frame if you like. And that wasn't very interesting, but the martinis were outstanding. And damn, I love these olives. With jalapeno and garlic. It's heart healthy. Anyway, if you learned something, it must have slipped by me. So let me know what it was. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having, and it could be anything, honestly.